Hey guys, Stuart here with the Indie Nomad. I've just been running a 16 kilometer run just to uh, the north of Manchester. There's some hills around that area, so I thought I'd go and check them out in the Peak District. What did I find? Probably you can see quite a lot of mud. Must have fallen in every muddy bog of fucking I could find on that route today. It's uh, yeah, a good route to test Carry Moore's trail run. Duma Trail. Another trail running shoe from uh, from Carry Moore. Uh, Duma Trail. This is a lightweight trail shoe. Um, much lighter and much faster than the other one that I've reviewed which is Trail Run 2 which has got to be one of my favourite shoes I've run in, you know, in the last couple of years. Um, Duma Trail, it's much lighter, much less drop across it, so it's a lighter and a faster shoe. Um, as, as you can see on the bottom, there's not as much tread. It's not as aggressive a tread as it is on the Trail Run 2. Um, but I've just run through copious amounts of mud with it and managed to stay, you know, reasonably uh, reasonably uh, vertical most of the time but I did lose my foot in once um, and end up in a bit of uh, a bit of mud as you can see down my arm and whatever else so you know these are they're a lightweight shoe they're not designed to do what I've just done in them really um, which is running on some uh, you know some pretty uh, pretty gnarly stuff um, in the hills these will be fine if you want to do you know simple sort of dry trails um, you're not going to go into the hills and successfully you know with any sort of confidence in your footing you won't you won't be running around wet mountains in these um, but they are good as like a cross shoe so if you're going on if you're going to be doing a bit of trail and you know you're going to be doing a bit of road as well then these these are actually turned out to be quite good for that um, and I've done my fastest 10k time in these so far. Um, I did a 37.21, which is not bad, not bad for an 85 kilo guy. Eh? And that was done in these, so they are a pretty fast shoe. I'm pretty impressed with them. They're staying together, they're holding together, proving to be fairly durable. I've put, I think, about 380, 380 kilometres on these now. The soles just starting to get a couple of little cracks across the bottom. Um, and obviously the rubber's starting to wear away where I overpronate to the outside there um, but there's plenty of life left in it there on that tread um, you know there's easily 150 kilometers so this this shoe will be good for 500 kilometers um, of what I've put it through which is some pretty you know, it's pretty serious stuff that I've put on it um, you know I've, I've not been messing about um, and like I say the, the upper the upper staying together. None of the stitching is coming out at all at the moment. Um, you know the toe is absolutely solid. The glue is not parting away there or anything like that. Um, so in terms of build quality, they're absolute. They're absolutely a one really. Um, you don't get any better. You know you could pay you could pay hundreds of pounds for running shoes. You won't get any better at build quality than this. I don't think. Um, it's all double stitched. You know it's lightweight and you know it's proving itself across here where you get a lot of the flexing in the shoe you know it's not breaking down the material's not broken down at all it's all it's all still there it's like a ripstop material across there it's it's fine it's well well designed shoe um there is a you know there's enough support in it i found yeah i found it to be really good um so um yeah i'm impressed with it uh, light trail work it's okay so don't don't try and run in the mountains with it because it's not really designed to do it but if you want to run down towpaths on the canal or you want to do a bit of road and a bit of trail or you're going to run around some of the forest trails that sort of stuff it's fine for that gravel loose gravel bit of rock you know it's just when you start hitting the mud um, and the really gnarly sort of mountainous stuff um, that you're going to start to struggle in it and you might just start to lose your foot in occasionally um, you know at those times where you need when you need self-confidence when you're putting your foot down obviously when it's muddy 
um, and you're not going to have that in, in this in this shoe so yeah it's a good shoe decent shoe but you've got to be careful what you're doing with it don't uh, you know don't try and stretch it beyond what it's capable of doing um, otherwise it might let you down That's, that goes to you know goes with any equipment doesn't it um, use it for what it's designed to do and it'll do it well so carry more another good shoe very well done um, another another trail shoe that you can pick up for under 30 pounds I think I paid about 25 for this something like that um, they're actually proving a little bit difficult to find so I'm trying to get a link for these uh, trying to get a sales link that you can follow through if you want to get a pair um, but at the moment I can't find them for under 35 quid 35 is not too bad but I know that there are places you can get them cheaper than that um, so I will try and bang up an Amazon link if you want to follow that if you want to have a go in a pair of these they are so they are you know they're so inexpensive that you might as well just have a go um, you might as well give them a whirl give them a try let's say to get 500 kilometers out of a shoe that's less than 35 pounds um, and that if you'll you know if you look around I'll try and find a link and you'll try and you know try and get a link up there you know, for best price maybe 25 quid something like that um, they're worth having a go worth having a shot so again carry more really impressed with it really good kit um, today I've been running another pair of their shorts X light shorts so I might put a link up to those as well guys uh, these are splitty shorts not everybody likes running in splitty shorts especially offensively s small shorts like I've got them today um, I think I must have shrunk these in the wash or something because they are absolutely tiny but, uh, hey, I've got the legs for it why not show them off eh? right guys that's it for today it's time to have a shower carry more Duma Trail guys give them a shot get out there get yourselves fit take care get passionate about your fitness guys Stuart Phil Indie Nomad signing off like share subscribe guys take care